Welcome to the next installment in the Amiga CD32 review project. This time around I've been playing the game Battletoads, published by Mindscape in 1994. I'm unsure who actually developed the game, but Battletoads as a brand originates from the famous development house Rare, founded by the Stamper Brothers in 1985 under the name Ultimate Play the Game. The original release of Battletoads was for the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1991, and it was very well received at the time, receiving 9 nominations for Nintendo Power Awards and winning the first place in 4 of those. The game stars the three anthropomorphic toads, Rash, Sits and Pimple, who sets out to defeat the evil Dark Queen. These fighting toads were undoubtedly created to compete with another group of fighting anthropomorphic animals, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And at their height, they even did a pilot for an animated TV series as well. It never caught on though. Whereas the NES Classic was somewhat of a hit, the Amiga conversion is sadly a bit of a stinker. And in my opinion, the main culprit here is the controls. It seems like the developers have done a very sloppy job of fine-tuning the gameplay. I actually ran into a few programming errors as early as in the first level, where the game would stop scrolling for no apparent reason. And my only option was to throw myself off a cliff repeatedly in order to lose my three lives and start over. Infuriating. But the most infuriating thing is not the programming flaws, it's the mind-bogglingly stupid design decision to go for a control scheme that uses only a single button. Come on you guys, you have a plethora of buttons on the CD32's control pad, why use only one? This for example means that in order to jump in the first level, you press up and the button that you also use to punch, and at the same time of course. So consider that for a moment. Yes, it means that you will, by accident, be jumping all the time when what you really want to do is move a little up and punch a bad guy. When you finally land after that excruciatingly stupid jump, the bad guy will hit you before you get another punch in. Okay, enough ranting about the controls. Let's try to find our happy place and talk about what's good in this game. Hmm, let me see. The intro sequence is quite nice. There are also a few good design decisions in there, like the ability to ride the little dragon picks in the first level once you've stunned them. And the very first boss fight was quite innovative as well, but all of this was done in the NES original as well and done a whole lot better. Let's see what the reviewers had to say about the CD32 version of Battletoads back in the day. Amiga Format only dedicated a few lines to Battletoads, saying that Battletoads is not a game you should consider buying. Battletoads is not a game you should consider stealing. If you receive Battletoads for your birthday, simply smile politely and then decapitate the bearer. It's 12 flawed levels of nonsense. A bit of beat em up, shoot em up and platform, all poorly executed. Go away. Amiga Power gave the CD32 version of the game a 6% score. Yes, you heard me right, 6%. The Amiga version they gave 9%, but seeing as the CD32 version was the same shit but cost £5 more, they deducted 3%. They write about the game. There is absolutely no fun to be had playing Battletoads on the Amiga. It's chronically bad programmed, and the only reason you'd ever carry on playing past your first game is to see what all the levels look like. Quite frankly, this never ever should have been released. Even the magazine Amiga CD32 Gamer, who normally gave very positive reviews to most anything, gave Battletoads a very low score of 22%, finishing the review with the following words. Drab to look at, awkward to control and ridiculously difficult. Battletoads is an astonishingly comprehensive failure. Even the music is badly sampled. As you can hear, Battletoads on the CD32 is no masterpiece. If you want to play it, you'd do better by finding the original NES cartridge. I award this game a 1 out of 5 score.